Hi there. We want to tell you a little bit of a story based on Psalm 45. But we need to have a little bit of understanding of how in Bible times they used to have weddings. And so what would happen would be that there would be the bridegroom or groom and there would be a bride and they would get betrothed, which means they, it was kind of like engagement, but more official. They were definitely planning on getting married. So let's introduce you to our groom. And in this story, he's a king. All right, and then there's also the bride, and in this story, she's a princess. Hello. Hi. So they got betrothed, and they, and they agreed that they were going to get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what happened was the king told his future bride, his bride-to-be, that he would go and prepare a house for her. And that he would come back so that she could, they, so they could live together as bride and groom. I'm going to go prepare a place for you, and then we'll be able to live together as bride and groom. Oh boy, I can't wait. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be ready. So the bride was supposed to be ready for when the groom came back. And there was a whole uh, system that would happen. And, uh, but sometimes it didn't go like it was supposed to. And what you didn't want is for something like this to happen. So yeah, that was no good at all. They were asleep, they weren't ready for the groom to come. And you certainly didn't want it to happen like this if he came in the middle of the night. didn't want it to go like this. The room has arrived! Hello? Are you there? Um, hello? Um, well, we're not quite ready yet. This gives us a little spare time. Oh, okay. Are you coming out? Um, uh, we're still getting ready. Just another minute. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. We're here, we're ready. Are you coming out now? Oh, that didn't go well at all. They never came out. What you wanted was you didn't want the, the bride and her bridesmaids to be sleeping or not ready with their lamps or still getting ready. Here's what you really wanted when the groom came back for his bride. So, well, anyway, they would, they would just, 
Get going then back to the house where the, the groom had prepared. Yeah, we should get going. Okay, that'd be great. Well, I'm glad that finally worked out, huh? It was great to see the bride and the groom finally be able to come together in marriage and, and the wedding the way they were supposed to. And in the Bible, it talks about how there's a groom coming for his bride. And the groom is Jesus Christ, and he promised to go away and come back for his bride, the church. Uh, us as followers of Jesus Christ are the bride, and we're supposed to not be asleep. We're supposed to be prepared and ready and waiting and looking for him. And when he comes, it's going to be a glorious day, because in Revelation 19, it says, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, I just pray that we would be ready for Jesus. I pray that we would not be in the dark, but that we'd be clear and understand and know who you are, that you're Savior of the world, and that we need to believe in you to be saved. I pray that we would be uh, prepared. I pray that we would be living for you, trying to live obedient to your commands, and trying to uh, love God and love others. And Lord, I just pray that we would um, be uh, ready to go, that we would be joyful when we see you, that we'd be excited about your coming, and that we would be, even as the Bible says, looking forward to it in prayer. And so, Lord, we just thank you that you promised to come back for us, um, and thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining our puppet show. Say goodbye to all the kids. Bye. Bye. You certainly didn't want it to go like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Amy, when did it become a flashlight? It was a lamp. <laughs> Why did you take us directly out of Bible times? Remember that Susie's like, we're coming! <laughs> yeah, in, um, I know, that's a terrible way to start. <laughs> Everybody wave. Like our, we'll cut this together. Like say, why don't you say, uh, why don't you say goodbye to all the kids, guys? Why don't you say goodbye to all the kids? Wait, hold on. Try, hold on.